Welcome to Fright Fest. Thank you. Now, um, Discopath. It's a, a, an interesting name anyway, but the story is even more interesting. Can you tell us a little more? About well, I've had this, this idea years ago, uh, but um, as a kid I used to get scared about this when I heard disco music. I thought there were some elements were kind of scary sometimes. And um, I don't know, I always had this idea that I would do a film, a film uh, about uh, a, a, a guy that kills somebody and nobody notices right on the dance floor, you know? That's, that's pretty much the basic idea. And because he's a, he's a serial killer when he hears the music. Exactly. Um, what, how did you research really um, that, that, what, is he a psychopath? You know, did you? Uh, well, you know, he's, uh, I, I, I collect, uh, name it, uh, film uh, costumes and cars and pinball machines, whatever. So I, I have all this old stuff that's with me. And I, you know, I, I could pretty much, I work as an art director as well. So, you know, I'm, the movie is very highly uh, sty stylistic or, uh, and I don't know, is, did I make a psychological study? No, <laughs> but you know, is there really a person that, that, that kills people when he hears disco? This guy does, you know, he's a, he's a New Yorker and uh, he actually um, escapes to Montreal, where, where I come from. So, you know, a movie starts in New York and ends up in uh, French Canadian Montreal, you know? That's a, that's a thing. And it's based in the 1970s, oh, yeah. um, obviously that particular era. What, what was it like for you having to shoot a film that's set back in, in a, well, it's a period piece, well, really? It's, you're just more expensive, <laughs> you know. I actually, well, I think Montreal is one of the last places in North America you can, I can actually buy a, couple, a bunch of old cars and tweak them up a bit. I bought a hearse, and we smashed a hearse. We had a blast. I, uh, and maybe if you see the movie, uh, the girl that gets her head chopped off is my daughter. <laughs> so we had a we, we did the, the whole special effects, uh, the thing, the mold, and you know it's basically it, it's like it was shot in 1980, and uh, we are in, t in 2013. You know. With, with regards to um, the, the horror genre, is there, is there something about horror that allows one's imagination just to go completely wild? I'd say yes. You can, you know, have, uh, actually, if you, you'll see, I, I actually do a little cameo in there. I play the disco pad's father. So I, you know, he, because it, it gets explained, his, his father gets electrocuted. And while he's inventing the first disco beat in 1966, well, I'm revealing stuff—a bit of a spoiler here—but you know that that's that's the the the, the stem or the you know that that's where it all his whole trauma be, uh, comes from. But you know, it's 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 fantastic. It's, it's not true, right? But you know, I like to believe. Uh, you know, it's, it's it gives fun. him a backstory. As long as it, yeah, as long as it's scary. You know, it has comedy elements, but it needs to be scary bits. You know, that's a, that's. A How do you then, as a director, build up um, the tension? Um, is that is that something that's that's difficult to create? That's, that's more like um, an art of uh, well, watching movies all my life. You know, I know there's a couple of scares in there, and you got to build up a jump. But you know, it, it's hard to build up an art. That, that, that was the, the the dilemma with with Disco Path. I didn't want to be all out funny. I wanted to have uh, scary bits. So he he needs to be scary. But uh, you know, sometimes we diffuse it, and then it becomes ah, oh, it's funny with a, a college for girls. And then it and, and you know, that's that's the thing. You gotta. It's a, there's a fine line between scary and uh, gross or funny. You know, and sexy also. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> With regards to where you've, where you've written these these heightened pieces of tension, is that something then when you get to the edit suite that you can sort of tighten up on? Ah, you can well? do a lot of things in editing, uh, you know, uh, but uh, pretty much uh, my, 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 uh, I wrote a movie and I, I pretty much st stuck to the stuck to the thing that, that we prepared. And, you know, it, you, you can do wonders, but especially what's, what's important in all horror, horror films is the music. And you know you, you can you know it's very important to the levels and uh, you know I, I bought the rights to a couple of old disco songs and we made a Georgia Marauder uh, type uh, Carpenter soundtrack we made that as well and uh, soon to be out on the vinyl with uh, my friends at Death Walls Records.